In this video, I'll show you step by step how to create a branded Shopify dropshipping store from complete scratch. We're gonna take this product that we can find on AliExpress for $8 and we're gonna create a professional and branded Shopify dropshipping store around that product so we can sell it for $30 and make a good profit. This simple store setup is gonna work for any dropshipping product, so feel free to follow along with this video and build your own store for the product that you want to sell. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is get us a free trial for Shopify. So head over to medixmedia.com forward slash Shopify or simply click on the first link down below in the video description. This will take you to my special Shopify landing page where depending on when you watch this, you'll be able to find special offers like an extended trial or a discount price for the first few months of using Shopify. So just type in your email and click on start free trial. Then we're gonna choose a password and a store name. We're gonna skip all the survey questions to save some time. That will take us into the Shopify dashboard. The first thing I like to do is select a Shopify plan. So let's click on select a plan. Here I'm gonna select a monthly payment option and I'm gonna go for the basic plan which has everything we need for this store. Then we need to add a payment method right here. And once that's done, we can click on start plan. Now we are still in the free trial, so we will only get charged if we don't cancel our plan within the 14 day free trial period. The next step we're gonna do is choose a theme for our store. So let's click on online store and go to themes. Here we can see that the current theme of our store is the dawn theme, which is the default one. When we scroll down, we can also find different free themes that we can use. Personally, I like to use the Sense theme. It looks very modern and clean, which is perfect for our branded dropshipping store. So I'm gonna add this one to my store. Once the new theme is installed, we're gonna click on Publish, which will activate this theme on our store. The next step is to import our product from AliExpress. We're gonna use an app called Deezers to make this very quick and easy. In the video description, you'll find a link to Deezers and when you click on that link, you'll end up on this page right here where we're gonna click on try it free to create our account. Once logged in, we're gonna click on Shopify which will take us to the Shopify app store. Here, we're gonna click on add app, then click yes, and then click install app to add Deezers to the Shopify store. Then here, we're gonna go with the free plan and click on get started. Then we need to connect Deezers to AliExpress as well. So let's click on AliExpress. And then here we can either log into our existing AliExpress account or simply create a new account. Once logged in, we're gonna click on let's start importing products. We're gonna skip this tutorial here. And now there's one more step, which is installing the Deezers Chrome extension. So let's go to home and click on Chrome extension. Add to Chrome. And now we're gonna pin this extension to our browser by clicking on the little puzzle icon and making sure the pin is blue. And now we have the Deezers Chrome extension right here. So let's click on it and then click on Deezers. That will take us back to their homepage where we're gonna click on Login and that will activate the Chrome extension. Now we are ready to import our product. So we can go to AliExpress and find the product that we wanna sell on our store. We're gonna click on this button that says add to Deezers. Now let's go back to our Deezers dashboard and go to import list, which will show us our product. Before we add this product to our Shopify store, we're gonna click on edit product. And then under variants, we're gonna make sure to only keep the variants that we actually want to sell on our store. Then we're gonna click on save. And now we can click here to push this product to our Shopify store. Make sure this box is ticked and then click push to Shopify. Now, when we go back to our Shopify dashboard and go to products, we should be able to see our imported product. So let's click on it and make some changes. I'm gonna first delete the product title and the description that was imported from AliExpress. So now we need to come up with a brand name for this product and store. I like to use a site called namelix.com to get some inspiration for brand names and I always make sure to check if the .com domain is available for my brand name using the site namechecker.com. For this product, I've decided to go with the name My Easy Breeze, so I'm gonna set this name for the product title followed by Mini Cooling Fan. 
for the product description. We want to spend some time creating a good copy, including the main benefits of using this product and also including images or GIFs showing this product in action. I like to look at competitor stores and also at Amazon listings for this product to find out what the main selling points are. The way I find competitor stores selling the same product is by doing a Google image search. So I go to Google images and click on this icon here. Then I screenshot one of the product images from AliExpress, drag and drop it here and then click on find image source. That will show me all the online stores that are currently selling this product. And I also make sure to read a lot of reviews on AliExpress and competitor stores to get a good idea of what customers are looking for. If I can find a video of the product, I like to use a site called easygif.com to create GIFs out of the video. I put everything together in the description, highlighting the main selling points and also adding visuals to these selling points. Then I make the headlines a heading three and also make sure they are centered. And I'm also gonna center the GIFs as well. Then we're gonna move on to the images. If the images that were imported from AliExpress are high quality, then we can keep them. Otherwise, we want to search the web for more images of this product. These are the images that I decided to use for the product page. You can simply rearrange them however you like by just dragging them around like this. Then under options, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to keep the color options. Then we have the variants for this product. To make some adjustments here, let's click on add variant. We want to make sure that each variant is connected to the correct image so we can click here and select the right image for this variant. Then under pricing, we're going to set the price for this product. To make a good profit, we obviously have to sell at a higher price than what we can get this product for on AliExpress. So I'm setting the price to $29.99 and at a compare price of $59.99 so that on the product page it will show that this product is 50% off. And I'm going to do that for all the other variants as well. Then we're going to go back and scroll all the way down to the search engine listing. Here I'm going to click on edit and make sure that the URL for our product looks nice and clean. And then we're going to save the changes. Now let's go and see how our product page looks like on our actual store. So we're going to go to online store and then click on customize. This will take us to the Shopify store editor where we can make changes to our store design. Let's switch from the home page to the product page right here. And then let's switch from desktop view to mobile view. Most people will be visiting our store from a mobile phone, which is why I like to edit the store on mobile view as well. So here we can see exactly how our product page currently looks like. The first thing I'm going to do here is delete everything we don't need on this page. Here on the left side, I can simply select the section I want to delete and then click on remove section. The only sections that I want on my product page for now are the announcement bar, header, product information, product recommendations, and the footer. So let's start from the top and make some adjustments. We can do that by just clicking on any element and then on the right side, we can make changes. For the announcement bar, I'm gonna change the text to only today, 50% off and free shipping. Then I'm gonna scroll down and go to these drop down menu items. I like to use these for FAQs, product information, instructions, return policy, and so on. So to edit these, we just click on them and change the heading and also the icon here on the right side. And then in the content field, we just put the relevant information. For this store, I would add FAQs, product information, how to use instructions, shipping information, and the return policy. Then let's make sure our changes are saved. And now the next very important thing to add to our product page are the product reviews. What we're gonna do is simply import real reviews directly from the AliExpress product page. And we're gonna use an app called Luke's to import those reviews to our Shopify store. You'll find a link to this app down below in the video description. So click on that link and that will take you to this page. Here we're gonna click on add app and then click on install app. As you can see, Luke's is a paid app for Shopify but they do have a 14 day free trial, which should be enough time to test this store and get our first sales. I'm gonna go with the growth plan because this will allow me to import up to 100 reviews from AliExpress. Then I'm gonna click on approve. Let's get started. Then here we can change the language and star color of our reviews. 
I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now and click on continue. Then again, continue and then skip on the top right. And then let's click on import reviews. Here we're gonna to have to drag this button to the bookmark section of our browser like this. And then we're gonna to go to the AliExpress product page and click on the import to looks bookmark that we have just added. Here we can select the product that we want to import the reviews to. I'm gonna scan 100 reviews and then I'm gonna click on preview and import. Now I can go through each single review and decide if I want to import it to my product page. If yes, I'm gonna click on import and if I don't want a specific review, I just click on reject. Once finished, we can go back to Shopify. And now the reviews are visible on our product page. Now we also wanna customize the theme colors for our store. So we're gonna to go to theme settings on the bottom left and click on colors. Here I like to match the store colors to the colors of the product to make sure everything looks very branded. I use the Chrome extension Colorzilla to get the color code of any pixel on my screen. Then we can just click on the color we wanna change and paste in the color code. Once that's done for all the colors that we wanna change, we're also gonna to go to the checkout page and make sure that this button has the same color as well. So let's go to theme settings, then checkout, and here we're also gonna change it to our new color. And now we also wanna create a logo for our store. I like to use a site called canva.com to create simple logos very easily and quickly. They already have tons of logo templates that you can start with and then customize using drag and drop. This is the logo I've quickly created for this store. So I'm gonna click on share and download it as a PNG. As I only have the free version of Canva, I'm using a site called remove.bg to remove the background of the logo. Then I download the logo with the transparent background. On Shopify, we can simply click on our header and then under logo image, we can upload our logo. Here we can also adjust the size of our logo and then save the changes. Now on the bottom of our store in the footer, we're gonna to need to add our store policies like the refund policy, terms of service and so on. So to add these policies, we're gonna go back to the Shopify dashboard and then click on settings on the bottom left. Here we're gonna click on policies and now we can click on insert from template which will insert a general policy that would be applicable to most stores. However, we do have to go through the text to make sure we replace all the information in the brackets and also adjust anything that doesn't apply to our store. We're gonna do the same thing for the private policy and the terms of service. And then for the shipping policy, we're gonna add our shipping terms manually. Then let's save the changes and close the settings. Now under online store, we're gonna to go to navigation. Here, we're gonna click on footer menu, click on add menu item, and then under link, we're gonna to go to policies and add each policy that we have just created before. Once that's done, we're gonna click on save menu. And now when we go back to the store editor and scroll all the way to the bottom, we can see that now we have our policy pages in the footer menu. Up until now, we've only been looking at the product page of our store. This is the most important page because our ads on Facebook or TikTok will be sending people directly to the product page so 99% of people will never even visit our homepage. Nonetheless, we do wanna create a very basic homepage for this store. So let's switch to our homepage here. First, I'll delete everything except the image with text section on the top. For this section, I'll just add a simple cover image and then add the product name here. I'm gonna change the heading size to small. Then I'm gonna change the text here and I'm also gonna change the button text to buy now. Then I also wanna add the product to the homepage, so I'm gonna click on add section and look for the featured product section. Then here I'm gonna select my product and now visitors can also purchase directly from the homepage. Then remember to save the changes. Now when we click on these three lines here at the top, we can see the navigation menu. And to make changes to this menu, we're gonna go back to the Shopify dashboard. Then under online store, go to navigation. Here we're gonna click on main menu. Then I'm gonna delete the catalog page. And I'm gonna add a new menu item, which is gonna be our product page. I'm gonna move that right here. Click on save menu. And that's it for our navigation menu. 
For the contact page, I like to add a short paragraph about what customers can expect. And to do that, we're gonna to go to the Shopify dashboard and under online store, click on pages, select the contact page, and then we can put our text here. Click on save. And now we have that paragraph on our contact page. Now we're also gonna add a favicon to our store. A favicon is just this small logo that people will see on their browser. Again, I'm using canva.com and remove.bg to create a simple favicon with a transparent background. Then in the Shopify editor, I'm gonna to go to theme settings and click on favicon. And here we're gonna upload our logo. And now visitors will see our logo in their browser window. This is how the URL of our store currently looks like, which we obviously wanna to change to our own custom domain so the store looks legit and professional. To add a domain, we're gonna to go to the settings and then click on domains. If you already have a domain, you can click on connect existing domain and then follow the instructions. But if you don't have a domain yet, you can click on buy new domain. Then here we wanna type in our brand name and buy the .com domain. Once we click on buy domain and confirm, our store will be automatically connected to this new domain. And that's it for the front end setup of our store. Now we also need to set up our payment providers and shipping rates. So let's again go to the settings and click on payments. Here we wanna make sure to activate Shopify payments so that customers can check out using a credit card or other methods like Apple Pay or Google Pay. PayPal is activated by default on Shopify. If Shopify payments is not available in your country, you can also use third-party payment providers like Stripe, for example. Then let's go to shipping and delivery. Here we can set up our shipping rates. So let's click on manage and here delete all of the default shipping rates. Then let's click on create shipping zone, which will define the area where our shipping rate will apply to. Let's create one for the United States. Then we can add a shipping rate for the new shipping zone. I'm gonna simply do free shipping for the US. So I'm gonna name it free shipping and set the shipping price to zero. Then when we click on done, we've set up free shipping for the US. Now we can also create another shipping zone for international customers by selecting rest of the world. And here I'm gonna charge $8 for shipping internationally. So let's click on save and then go to store details. Here we wanna make sure to enter our final store name. Also, we wanna check our address and contact information and make sure that the store currency is correct. Then we're gonna close the settings now under online store, go to preferences. Here we're gonna type in a homepage title and short description. And then we're gonna scroll down to password protection. In order for our customers to visit our new store, we'll need to remove the password. So we're just gonna untick this box and then click on save. And now our new online store is live and ready to launch. When we get our first sale, we're gonna to go to our Deezer dashboard and click on open orders. Now to fulfill the order, we would just have to click on fulfill order here on this page and make the payment to make sure the product will be sent directly to the customer. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one.